Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading Pisces, so if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, I would really appreciate it if you were to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you guys Pisces, is through the comments. And trust me, I do read all of you guys' comments, I do keep up- some of y'all have been keeping up with you guys and what's going on in y'all's lives for a year, honey. <laughs> I'm a nosy person, so I always like hearing about other people's gossip and more than just like, obviously more than and just a superficial thing Pisces I just um why am I explaining that to you if you want to share it share it <laughs> I'm sorry Pisces um but also if you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe Pisces I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way uh Pisces as well and before we get into this weekly reading for you Pisces today um I just want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective honey I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you Pisces you know your situation better than I ever possibly could Pisces so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever Pisces um I believe my tarot readings are here just to give you some food for thought my weekly readings are here just to give you some food for thought over the week some perspectives to consider but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live Pisces not mine not these tarot cards so let's just get into your weekly tarot reading today Pisces and let's see what's going on with you so I'm starting out something new for you guys Pisces well just, not just for you but like in general Pisces um I'm using my old one of my older decks just to get a vibe for what it is that you guys are currently going through in your life and then we'll get into some other bits and pieces but I'm being a little bit nosy again I want to see what's going on with you guys and so you all I don't know why I said that weird. I don't know why, Pisces. I always act the strangest when it comes to y'all's readings. I don't know why. It's so weird, but I've some, it's something that I've noticed. <laughs> um, so you, Pisces, have the Life Experience card, Archangel Camwell, uh, number 16, equaling to 7 for numerology, Pisces. So write that down to look up later to see how it correlates with your week and just this reading. Um, I always su strongly suggest that. Maybe I should do... Anyways, um, so this card says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. Now, Pisces, I enjoy this card in this deck because I'm pretty sure this is the tower card <laughs> that a lot of people always fear. So when you have it as like the life experience card, honey, it makes it not seem as severe, right? And it's not severe for you, Pisces. Um, but with this card, I'm going to hold it up just so y'all can appreciate the artwork of it while I speak. But with this card, this week, I know it's not something that you want to see in your weekly reading or where it's like the towers are like, oh, you're probably just like, come on, Velka, I'm tired now. I don't want to be dealing with anymore. Right? You're just probably exhausted, Pisces. And I get that. But I enjoy this because Archangel Camwell, this is actually the Archangel I work with the closest and the, one of the Archangels I actually, I think it is one of the ar oldest Archangels I've worked with with the longest that no one asked for but uh archangel camwell not only feeds into that optimism but op archangel camwell is very much so very much so very much very much so honey uh invested pisces in uh, um having you live to your highest potential camwell is always going to be that individual pisces where He's going to give you that tough love, and he's going he's very much so a sense of where it's just like a, you know, let's just say like you're in art class, right? And then you just, you did this drawing, right? You did this landscape painting. You bring your painting to Archangel Camwell, and you're just like, oh, what do you think? And Camwell, because he knows your potential, honey, he's going to be like, mm, this is cute, darling, but let's scrap all this. Let me push you, push you a little bit more. Archangel Camwell is always going to be the one that pushes you to live out to your greatest potential. Now, you can take that, right? 
and you can take that criticism from your art team. By the way, I'm not trying to justify how someone should be telling somebody anything, but just simplicity. But you know, you could take that criticism that that art teacher said and take it personal, or and you feel as if like that art teacher is trying to just knock you down or what have you, or just you know whatever. Or you can take it in a place where it's just like you know what? I know they're looking out for my highest good. I know they're pushing me because they see something more in me that I don't quite see myself yet. So you're going to just lean in. To it further so when you have the card of time to spread your wings don't take the um obstacles don't take the difficulties that you're going through in your life right now pisces as a sign of um giving up on something or as a sign that you're doing something necessarily wrong right because i don't feel like you like you're not doing anything wrong just by the sense like the very fact that you are trying something pisces just shows to like that's the best thing you can do right so you're not doing anything wrong necessarily it's just more so like uh not only challenging yourself and pushing yourself but almost for some of you pisces giving yourself the permission to be in your greatness giving yourself the permission to be happy giving yourself the permission to make changes for your life that are good for you and not just for other people right start living your life for yourself pisces rather than for other people and i feel like this is why you're getting this life experience card honey is because uh, you've been thinking for another, uh, you've been shit, uh, molding your life for other people for long enough, Pisces, and it's time for you to really start living your life. And Archangel Camuel sees that, and he's gonna, Archangel Camuel is gonna be the one, like, honey, he doesn't actually say honey, <laughs> but he's gonna be like, honey, um, fix this. No, 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 we're not having this no more, right? Just because, you know, so it's just like, you get the point, Pisces. So let's see how this, give me a moment, Pisces. I actually want to shuffle some clarifiers for you guys. Um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so you, let's see here. We have your eight of earth. I'll show you the cards in a moment. Um, all right, here we go. I know how this is wanting to go. So, you start out with the five of fire. This is more. This is your clarifiers for your life experience cards. We're getting a little bit more tea, a little bit more goss on like what's happening here, right? So, five of fire, five of pentacles, or I always call five of wands and pentacles. I mix them up for some reason, and it's just recent. I don't know why, Pisces. Uh, five of fire, five of wands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Competing goals, bothersome details, um, conflict with other people. So, there's your. Mm, I feel like uh, I can't. I almost called you cancer. I feel like Pisces. You are feeling stuck. You're feeling there's some type of conflict, right? We'll call it conflict, obstacle, something that's impeding you in your path or just making your path not as easy to walk down right i like how i just randomly did that for walking imagine if someone walked like that pisces <laughs> um, so yeah there's something that's kind of like a ugh, inconvenience we'll just say right and so whatever this inconvenience is you know i'm gonna probably no one's gonna understand this reference but i remember back in the day when i was a kid pisces during like the earlier Pokemons. I don't know which color Pokemon it was, but I know it's like the original ones. Um, I don't know any of the generations now, honey. Like the po new Pokemon now just look like... I don't even know. <laughs> like they just like, it's like a toasters and just weird. Anyways, um, in one of the Pokemons you had to like, there's like a giant Snorlax. Um, such a ridiculous example I'm giving, but like this giant Snorlax and you have to like wake up the Snorlax, right? To get them out of the path so you can keep moving. And I think you had to get like a Pokey Flute or something, um, Pisces. And I feel so silly with this. No one's going to understand this probably, but like, you know, so when you first run it, go into that path in Pokemon, you just see this giant Snorlax and you're like, what the heck? Like, I guess I'm just done here. I guess we just fold our hands because the Snorlax is just sleeping. We can't move. Well, five of air is that Snorlax. This is your Snorlax, honey. I never thought in a million years I'd be calling tarot cards Pokemon. Whew. <laughs> and so because of this, right, your Snorlax is in your path. And then we have the eight of air coming in here or the eight of swords because swords is air. And this card says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. 
So in this example, right, you have this Snorlax here, you run into this, you run into the Snorlaxes yourself, and then you're just like, you can't wake up the Snorlax, right? And you can't go for, can't go around them, can't go over the Snorlax. And so you just feel stuck, right? Whatever your situation is, you feel stuck because of the Snorlax. And I kind of feel like the Snorlax was like your tower moment where it's just going to uh, interrupt the flow uh, for you and forcing you to challenge yourself, right? And so because you feel stuck, it's one of the, like, this is the thing here, though. Notice how this card says an illusion of being trapped. It's an illusion. And I know that can kind of seem like a, a little bit gaslighty, right? Where it's just like, you're not, you feel like you're stuck. You think you're stuck, honey, but you're not stuck, right? To have a tarot card try to dismiss your experiences and feelings like that, uh, it's not dismissing it, but it's like, I can take a moment and be like, girl, <laughs> you want to bet? But so the thing I want to focus on is a lack of self-confidence and a lack of, um, afraid to take action for this and so it's just like rather than falling victim to this snorlax of where it's just like oh i guess i can't move anymore i guess i can't continue this game anymore um you need to address this right this is not your reality like just because the snorlax is here doesn't mean you can't continue going forward doesn't mean um you're stuck right doesn't mean everything's just over with because then eight of pentacles comes in or the eight of earth i guess and this card says skilled work is rewarded learning all that there is to know about a subject and going back to school which we kind of just hide that part it's more so emphasizing learning right challenging yourself right that's the purpose of lessons right when you receive a lesson or receive a quiz in your math test right how many math quiz in your math test quiz in your math class or what have you right you don't take it personally when your hand well i guess some my honey i'm taking it personally when i receive some tests i'm like girl i don't know the answer to any of this but you know you don't take it personally it's like oh this teacher just wants me to fail right that's why they're giving me this test like ah oh, screw this test like this test is just hoping for my downfall this test is praying for my downfall it's not actually the case um pisces i feel like this you know right if you're if you don't know a question it's more so trying to show you what it is that you need to look at more what it is that you need to uh challenge yourself in and so this eight of earth comes in where it's just like you know what rather than feeling stuck eights are following you by the way i just now noticed it while you're feeling stuck you shift that eight of swords or eight of air into this eight of earth energy where you go out and get that pokey flute <laughs> right you go out and get that pokey flute and then you come like maybe you didn't even know right maybe you didn't know pokey flute existed and you just kind of have a little bit of like you just go out and trying to like with the intention on trying to uh figure out how to address the snorlax in your life and then when you get that pokey flute you wake up the snorlax gone is as if like the snorlax you almost realize like how silly it was for how long you kept yourself contained um by just the Snorlax being there when it was just a simple case of playing a pokey flute, right? If any of you guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> please let me know in the comments below so I don't feel so crazy and alone um, in this example because I hope that I feel like it's such a perfect example, but I don't feel like it's going to resonate with a lot of people because I don't think a lot of people either know the reference or it's just a weird reference in general because it's Pokemon, right? So, all right, you did such a long spiel for that, um, Pisces. So let's just talk about the blessings coming into your life now, right? We have, <laughs> we have the Judgment card coming in. We have the Ace of Coins, and then we have the Hierophant coming in here. So the blessings coming into your life, you know, it's all about action. Again, Judgment card is taking action even if you feel... It's usually, this is, it's a funny card because it's like, I kind of see the judgment card similar in a sense of the chariot where it's like the chariot is like just forward motion, taking action, just going out, blazing that trail with full confidence, right? Because it's that fiery energy. Um, with the judgment card, this is the card where it's like you're taking action, but you're kind of, uh, you're kind of like shivering in your boots a little bit. You're kind of a little bit scared. Your knees are clacking, honey. And so, but you're still taking action on it. And so it's just like we're using that snow. Let's just cut the snow. That's example. <laughs> so um, I see, uh, Pisces, you, by you working through that fear, by you working through like your um, arms are heavy, knees weak, whatever, right? <laughs> Must be mom's sick. Ugh, I'm being ridiculous in y'all's reading. I was referencing Eminem. Anyways, poorly. Um, by taking action, right? Harry Finch and the Ace of Pentacles comes in in such a beautiful message of where it's just like such cheesiness in the sense of where it's like it was always within you to do this, right? It was always within you to move that Snorlax. It was always possible for you to overcome that test. Um, and the other side of the Ace of Pentacles, you get that reward, 
right? It's really much so just one of those things, Pisces, where it's just like, whatever it is coming to you this week, right? In that uh, life experience card, there it is. In this life experience card, do not feel defeated by it. Do not really kind of see this as like this week, something coming up in your life to almost show you your potential. And it's purposely here to challenge you. It's not here to slow you down. It's here to challenge you because once you overcome that challenge, you just realize how easy it is to continue going forward and following in this energy. Um, and so Ace of Pentacles comes in as this promised land, right? Once you move that Snorlax, honey, and then you see what the Snorlax reveals, which is like that. I mean, this is like, this is considered like the cornucopia card um, or like the, the treasures, right? And so you get rewarded for just going through this test, right? You don't know this. I feel like you don't know what, like, what's going to be revealed to you, right? You may not um, make sense in this moment, but I definitely see you Pisces right now. If you go up to this challenge, right? And allow yourself to really spread your wings and fly and really just have this challenge you, but still with the intent on persevering, I really do see like such a beautiful, um, outcome for you guys and so definitely let me know Pisces how you handle this by the end of this week for you Pisces because I definitely I really do get this strong feeling um yeah <laughs> I get this strong feeling that you're going to get something beautiful and this give this moon confirms this message Pisces come on now this give this moon says you're very close to achieving your goal I mean how much more of a specific message can you get right just behind that Snorlax honey whatever that little Snorlax is for you in your life right behind it is this ace of pentacles right behind it Pisces so you know I mean how much more of a confirming message can do we need to uh get right now for you and I do feel like nothing is set in stone for you guys, Mutable Moon. I do get this sense that like some of you guys, you feel trapped because it's like you feel like it's, you're treating this as reality. It's like you're viewing whatever this Snorlax is, whatever this Five of Wands is in your life. You're treating it as like it's always going to be there. You can't change it. It's hopeless, right? Nothing is set in stone, Pisces. Don't give up on some type of situation yet. Don't feel defeated. You're so close to achieving your goal, Pisces. You just kind of have to push through a little bit more, all right? So we talk about all that, right? We talk about um, that Snorlax, <laughs> such a ridiculous message. But let's just look at uh, Pisces real quick. What is it that you should be uh, looking out for for this week, aside from that Snorlax, right? What is it that you should be actively working on with yourself, Pisces, this week before we close out this reading for you? Also, just let me know, Pisces, how are you doing today? You know, <laughs> again, like, yeah, I really just would, I would, I can't wait to see the comments and hopefully someone understands my reference. So I don't feel so crazy. Um, but yeah, what is it that Pisces should be looking out for, for today and the rest of the week? We have the Five of Cups coming in here. We have the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups coming in. I don't have my glasses. That's why Pisces. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles following you. So what you need to look out for this week right this is kind of the same message where it's just like you're presented five of cups where it's just like this frustration where no this is not the five of cups I told you i don't have my glasses pisces this five of cups <laughs> this five of cups here is a situation where it's just like you feel like all is lost you feel like there's nothing you can do to shift the outcome of this situation you feel like it's kind of just hopeless or help you feel helpless right it's not the case you just need to shift your view shift your perspective shift your perspective pisces because if you look closely here i'm trying not to get too close with my face and scare y'all if you look closely pisces you'll see these two other cups here that are just filled so it's just one of those like crying over spilled milk but the spilled milk being that Snorlax for you, right? How many times can I say Snorlax? Watch me get this video recommended by like Pokemon people. People like are searching Pokemon and Snorlax, like what the heck is this, right? Um, Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. There's definitely this week, consider other options. There's something here, there, look further into this week um like don't take anything at surface or face value uh pisces take this time to really look over your options right um again as i said you may not know that poop pokey flu exists in the time being initially but if you were to look around shift your perspective you'll see all these other options right eight of pentacles you already know that right seven of pentacles or seven of cups rather is just the choices right there's a lot of, a lot more avenues than you're aware of and if you are just simply aware of those avenues pisces 
I feel like you wouldn't be in this eight of air energy feeling like you're trapped, right? That's why this card talks about the illusion of feeling trapped in a situation because I don't feel like it's actually reality for you. It may look like that in your first by face value, but you know, with the eight of pentacles continually coming in for you, it's really a card or there's something here more, something deeper here that you can look at and that will really shift things for you, right? Remember that gibbous moon of nothing is set in stone for you because nothing is set in stone because he has seven other things to look at, seven, seven ways to overcome that, right? So, um, yeah, Pisces, it's such a ridiculous message, but I hope it was resonant to some of you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below uh, which cards resonated and how they did. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. And then also, uh, I do the weekly readings for all the Zodiac signs, Pisces. Um, I promise you I don't talk about Pokemon or any, <laughs> any of the other ones. So um, I would really appreciate if you were to share my videos with your friend, right? Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Um, and then as well, um, Pisces, I feel like I guess that's it. <laughs> Alright, Pisces, I love you so much and I'll connect with you hopefully really soon. And also, remember what I asked you guys to do in the comments. I love you guys. Bye.